We were talking about Jill because Jill's coming yes. up right now. She's talking about the Calgary Marathon on Sunday. And Jill, Andy's saying the weather's going to be nice for all the runners this weekend. That is good news. And bringing the thunder here with the help of some kids who are gearing up here for the Scotiabank Calgary Marathon. And we do want you to go out and cheer the runners on on Sunday. There are lots of different places that you can plot yourselves. And participants like Martin Parnell, who is a great friend of the show that we know very well as a Right to Play ambassador. Good morning to you. Hi, Jail. How's it going? It's great. Uh, great to see you as uh, we know that your story has taken a little bit of a turn uh, from well, let's call it 2010 when we first met after you ran 250 marathons that year. So tell us a little bit about what's happened for you in the last couple of months. Yeah, um, I completed my uh, <clears throat> uh, quest for kids at the end of December. I did the 10 quests and raised over a million dollars, which was fantastic. I went on a trip uh, in February to uh, Winnipeg and was diagnosed with a clot on the brain. Told I, <clears throat> told I couldn't run, couldn't swim, couldn't bike. But uh, fortunately, I could walk, so I've been doing a lot of walking. Okay, and that hasn't stopped you because you have a goal in mind for Sunday. Yeah, I'm shooting. Uh, I'm going to do my very first 5K walk with my wife, Sue. So I'm kind of excited. Yeah, last year was the 50K Ultra. This year will be the 5K walk, and I'm just glad to be able to do something. Absolutely. And how important are those goals for you and your recovery? Yeah, I think it's critical. Um, you know, when you're thrown a curveball and life, you know, life kind of hits you to the side, I think you've got to find something that you can control. And when the doctor said I could walk, well, that was it. I just got out and I set myself a target of 500 kilometers by, before the 5K walk on Sunday, and I'm going to hit it on, on Saturday. So it's just the way I work, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great to be able to get out. Okay, well, congratulations to you, and I'm sure many Calgarians will be cheering you on, and there are lots of places that you can plot your spot. So Jess is joining me here, and you'll be in the East Village, so tell us what's going on there. Yeah, so in the East Village, um, for the past four years, we've had the East Village Spirit Hub. We'll be doing that again this year. Uh, the last three years, we've won the Calgary Marathon uh, Community Spirit Award, so we're back for a fourth year to try to vie for that championship. Okay. And so everyone's just invited to come down. We're going to have Bass Bus on site, um, playing some music, and we'll have Fiasco there serving up some gelato, coffee, uh, all for free. So just anyone who has family or friends who are running in the race, please join us down in East Village. We'd be happy to have you and just show your community spirit. Yeah had me at fiasco can i grab a handful of that as i run by absolutely we'll be maybe yeah, as you run by we'll be handing out some dishes of gelato <laughs> okay, excellent. so uh, lots of places to plot your spot we're going to put the links up on our website breakfasttelevision.ca should be a beautiful day for the scotiabank at calgary marathon and if you aren't running do go and support because it really makes a big difference to those mm -hmm. participants guys ted you would know that yeah man distance running people cheering you on is great and i don't know if jill can still hear me say hi to martin we wish him all the best yeah uh, and his work recovery of course right uh, on